Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be showing you where those Windows 11 saved password when you saved your cached password when you browse the internet. So if I go, let me go to Microsoft Edge. If I open Microsoft Edge, and let me just close my browser and open a new link. So if I go to my Edge and I try to go to my settings and more, and I go to settings, other settings you can see we have on your profile here we have a password so every password you saved in microsoft edge does not actually saved in your windows but it's actually saved in edge you can see we have our saved password here so we can actually decide to actually click to show up all our password saved so if you have different logs log on uh, different website you visited in the past so all the password will be saved actually here so if i go back again to my settings let me go back to settings and windows and if i go to account you can see in this device i'm actually using let me go to my email and account you can see i'm using an office 365 account to actually sync this device so here you can see i have an outlook account and also an office 365 account so which means that every credentials or every password I saved on this device will not be saved in my device but will be saved in Office 365. So first of all let me try to open Outlook. So you can see that Outlook is trying to open and you can see that it's telling me this is actually Microsoft 365. So if I go to file on a file here you can see let me go to my office account so if i go to office account you can see that this is actually a microsoft 365 apps for enterprise and this actually belongs to kelvin.johnson and this is actually my domain name which i have an actually i have an e5 account which of course i can use it to activate my office on this device but if i go to let me go to control panel so in control panel on a credentials manager so in credential manager this is actually where your password is being saved if you visited a web browser or you visited a windows credentials or your if you save that password locally on your device well first of all let me go to the web credentials at this moment you can see that we don't have internet explorer anymore in windows 11 compared to windows 10 where you have internet explorer so every password you save in internet explorer of course is, is being saved locally on your device but for Microsoft, for Win, for Microsoft Edge, every password is saved is not saved actually to your device, but it's saved to Microsoft Edge itself. So what you can actually do is you can actually decide to right now you can see that it's not syncing. So what I can do is I can actually sync my device. I can decide to let me just try to sign in. So here we can decide it. Okay, I can decide to actually not use say see i'm going to actually provide an alternative email address to actually sign in so i don't want to actually do that right now but we can decide to create a new account here we can i can add a new profile and let me just click add let's just wait for some moment so continue without let me just say sign in to sync your data so i'm going to try to so let me try to see, okay, I'm going to use this login credentials that have been saved to this device and click continue. So here I'm being requested to actually enter my password. Let me just enter my password. And then click sign in. So I'm going to skip this for 14 days. So right now it's actually trying to sync my profile. So the, the, the advantage of actually signing into Microsoft Edge is, is this. So when you log on to a new browser, so every everything you save is up your password, mm -hmm. all right, will actually be, will be saved to your profile. So if you log on to a new device, then it will actually and, and you will, when you log on to a new device, definitely your credentials also will be available. I your favorite or your password. Will be available on that device so let's just wait for a moment for this to get synced so here you can see we have the option that only sync browser that across all your sign-in devices using 
secure so we can actually just click use actually sync that and then now we can just click confirm so by clicking confirm if i go back again to my browser here you can see i'm actually using the kelvin.johnson on my domain here to sync every and we have a second profile we can use so let me try again back again to go back again to my settings and under settings let me go to my password you can see we have our more profile so let me just go to password so at this moment you can see we don't have any saved password on this device so what we can actually do is we can let me go back again to my let me try to log on to office let me log on to office 365 and let me just sign in so I'm going to use this profile I'm going to enter my password and click sign in here it's been I've been asked to save my password I'm going to say OK and I'm going to skip this for now let me just say yes so let me go back again to my settings here you can see we now have our password saved to Microsoft Edge and if I go back again to my credential manager and I do a refresh you can see when we are not going to see any password saved in web credentials so definitely you will not be seeing password on your web credentials in Windows 11 you may actually see that in Windows 10 or Windows 8.1 but not on your Windows 11 device and if I go to Windows credentials and you can even see that the password I'm seeing right now is actually very few or my safe credentials here you can see definitely you're going to see your safe credentials but the password will not be visible under your windows credentials and here you can see that i'm not seeing my password for the the password i use actually to my the logon name i used to configure my outlook why because it's actually an office 365 account so office 365 information does not got saved on your device but actually it's actually synced automatically to the cloud here you can see i'm even logged on to teams at this moment if i open teams you can see i'm also using teams on this device but the teams also is not the the password for teams is not also saved locally to this device because i'm using actually an account which is actually linked to office 365 and not an, um, an outlook account or a hotmail account but an, an um, office 365 account so let me just close this and if i go back again to my windows and also mind you if you log on to windows using for example a local account um definitely you will not be seeing that account here but if you log on to your to your windows using you can see that i'm using as well a local account so log on to this device definitely you even if you see those accounts here definitely the password will not be visible my windows credentials normally like our previous version of windows on windows, on the, uh, windows 10 or windows 8.1 on other web credentials your password will be visible but if i go back again to edge here you can see that our password let me just go back to my second profile here you can see that our password is actually visible so we can just click show so by clicking show it is actually going to actually request you to sign in to your to Microsoft Edge, and after you click, after you enter your password, which of course you have the password you use to log into that to this to your device, because you need to prove that you are the owner of that device. Then you will be able to; it will actually show you your password. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. My name is Kelvin Johnson. This is actually the tutorial on how you find a safe password in Windows uh, Windows 11, or where you can actually trace where password have been saved and please if you have any question you can always send me a personal email or you can leave a comment in the comment section of this video and i'll reply to you as quick as possible thank you very much and goodbye